everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're located at Merritt Partners Garage in partnership with MobyCab. Together we bring you the ultimate solution for your high-end luxury vehicles. We bring you the ability to store your vehicles, to customize your vehicles, and to essentially take care of any needs that you have for your ownership experience. Today we're going to be working on a 2005 Porsche Carrera GT, so we're going to go ahead and step right into it. So this black beauty right here is your Porsche Carrera GT, uh, known to many enthusiasts as the pinnacle of Porsche engineering and design. Uh, upwards of 600 horsepower, the last analog supercar made by Porsche. This 2005 example uh, paint is a little bit worn, it's over 10 years old at this point, so you can see definitely a lot of swirl marks is what we call them that look like spider webs. Today what we're going to be doing is a three-step process to correct the paint on this vehicle to bring it back to its original sheen. And we're furthermore going to add a ceramic coating, which is a nanotechnology that helps repel dust, debris, and water. Um, together we're going to make this thing shine and really come into its own. So I hope you liked the video. Jonathan, thank you for joining us. Uh, Absolutely. Here with your baby. Uh, just wanted to uh, ask you a few questions. Uh, first off, say thank you for letting MobyCat take care of your beauty, bring it back to life. Just want to get to know you a little bit, uh, show the community what you're about, what Merit Partners is about, and what our relationship is about. So I'll start off by asking you, why the Carrera GT? What, tell me what, what fuels you, why this car? The Carrera GT, and, and to many people, is you know the best modern supercar best modern sports car, and uh, I think it rivals the, the F40, and uh, even I'd be audacious enough to say the, the F1, you know, it's just an incredible, exhilarating car to drive. It's a dream car for me, and uh, I've always wanted to own one, and uh, it's just it's just a, a true pleasure, you know, to be a custodian of, of a great manufacturer of Porsche with a ton of history and, and racing, uh, and that they would put this car on the streets. There's so much that's special about it. So there's a ton that, that I can talk about, you know, how special it is. Uh, absolutely. So tell me about Merit Partners. Um, this is something uh, relatively new from my understanding to, to, to the scene, to the Atlantic culture. And I'm really, really excited to, to partner up with you guys. Can you tell us what, what is Merit Partners? What do you guys bring? Merit Partners is a, a boutique automotive uh, high-end dealer. We, uh, we specialize in blue chip sports cars and luxury cars specifically Porsche, Ferrari, and McLaren. And uh, we just are, we love the cars and, and our clients. And it's just very exciting to be able to serve the community and be a part of the, the automotive community. It's, a, it's a, a true pleasure. I love it, I love it. I'm really excited to see what you guys do. Tell me about your, your, your feelings before and after, right? I know this was your dream car you mentioned to me and uh, you're super excited to share it with everyone. Uh, what is your experience now that MobyCap has uh, brought this paint back to life. I, I've really been blown away. I mean, it's it's incredible to see the work that you guys have done. Uh, when I received the car and it arrived, I was obviously very very excited. It was a monumental day for me uh, receiving the car, and I just I just wanted to immediately drive it, you know. And I hopped in and I did go for a drive, and and then I got out and I looked around it like most car guys do, and I felt I felt great inside the car. I mean, the interior of the car is all reupholstered. Uh, so it's all leather on the doors and on the dash where you, you would usually get the, the pebbly plastic uh, material. And uh, the inside has the, uh, the birch and ash uh, shifter knob, which is, you know, a nod to the 917 uh, race car, which this car, you know, it is, it, uh, it is a race car. It's, it's the uh, LMP2000 uh, V10 engine, um, you know, in the late 90s that they, that they were building. Uh, and, uh, and then they had to put that aside to build the Cayenne. And uh, if it wasn't for the Cayenne, Porsche may not be around today. But here it is. And then in 2004 and 2005, they, they, released, they released this car. So I felt, back to your question, I felt so good in the car. And then I would get out of the car. And like every guy who owns a car, he wants to you know, look back at his car as he's walking into wherever he's going. Yeah. And when I look back at it, and I love the black. I think black is an amazing color for this car. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of, one of the best. And, but I would look back and I saw a lot of swirl marks. I saw a lot of imperfections. 
and uh, you know it was it was it was, uh, it was something that I wanted to improve. And uh, I'm very into resurrecting these cars and making the story better and making the car better. And so partnering with you guys to um, you know do a stage three correction on the car, you took five days and then to ceramic coat it. It's a completely different car. It's like uh, you know it's like jewelry. It's like improving, keeping. Uh, your jewelry in great condition and that's essentially what this is, is looking at the, the lines of the car. It's extremely timeless and you've brought out the shape of the car. I mean looking all the way down the car and seeing my own reflection is, is a true gift. So thanks for, for your guys' work on the car and I'm just, I just want to go drive it now. So. All right, Jonathan, last thing we're going to ask you today. Uh, what, are the, what are the one, two, three, whatever you want to show us. Give us the, the, the one-off Porsche experience that someone doesn't know. What, what is a random person? I love Porsches. Show me something I don't know about this car. Yeah, so there, there's probably three, four, five, you know, a dozen. But uh, the, the the first one is that the the carbon chassis. This was the first time they did a carbon chassis on, on the road car. It weighs 220 pounds, uh, which is obviously incredible light with the with the V10. But it, it uh, just driving it, you really need to spend a great deal of time in the car. I mean, I feel like I could spend a few thousand miles on the car and start to understand the chassis. It's very uh, twitchy. It's obviously a very race car, and um, that's actually you know that's really why I bought the car. And I know that we we talked about this was I, I wanted to share it with with my friends, and that's truly my passion with the car is to be able to share uh, you know exhilarating experience driving the car with so many other people. Number two would be um, the center locks on the car, and I know I'm kind of moving around, but on uh, on the passenger side they're blue, on the driver's side they're red. That's because they twist different ways to get the, uh, the wheels off the car and so they can distinguish which side goes on each side. I think that's a really neat thing. And then the third thing is the, uh, the luggage in the smuggler's box. I, I love the, the, that piece. There's seven pieces of luggage on the car that came with the car originally and there's one specific area that we call the smuggler's box and you can hide in there anything you want to, uh, to keep it away from people. I like to hide my phone because there's no reason to be on the phone while driving the uh, you know the anti-theft gearbox of a, of a six-speed for all the, the you know the modern people that love this car and so yeah there's a it's right inside the door and it's a little piece of luggage where you can stick your phone or anything that you want to keep in there and you can hide it away and it's uh, it's amazing so well we won't hold you back and, and thank you so much for letting us work on it. MobiCap uh, and Merit Partners are going to change the industry and really really shift that the ownership experience so I'm very excited and uh, yeah. We'll do it.